Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to reveal my 23 top stocks to buy right now in August. I'll reveal the list of top stocks to buy and I'll also share with you how my list of top stocks to buy is performing so far in 2024. I've maintained the list all year long and kept updating investors all year long for transparency and so you can see how the performance compares to the S&P 500 and other index funds. Also, this is gonna be a relatively quick look at each of these stocks and I recommend going into deeper analysis on each of these before making a purchase. I have playlists on each of these stocks with deeper dives and dozens of videos on each of these stocks I mentioned in the video. So please do further due diligence before making any decisions on any of the stocks I mentioned here today. So without further ado, let's take a look at the list of my top stocks to buy right now. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, the first batch of stocks I'm going to discuss here is the Walt Disney Company, Alphabet, NVIDIA, Visa, PayPal, Fiverr International, Netflix, Alibaba, Uber Technologies, Amazon, and Target. Now, all of these stocks have been on my list of top stocks to buy all year long. And as you might imagine, NVIDIA is the best performing stock in this list. And of nearly every one of the stocks I have recommended, NVIDIA benefiting from the rising effectiveness of artificial intelligence. And it looks to be going higher still. Now, the next group of stocks I'm recommending here is eBay, Zoom Video Communications, Chewy, Meta Platforms, AMD, Snap, Coca-Cola, The Home Depot, Salesforce, and Nike. And as you can see, I have a mix of stocks on my list of top stocks to buy. There are AI stocks, there are growth stocks, there are dividend stocks, and that's on purpose. I've designed that on purpose to create some diversification within the portfolio. I don't want the portfolio of top stocks to buy to be concentrated too heavily in one category. So I've created some diversification within the portfolio to spread risks and increase potential risk versus reward. Additionally, you'll notice that many of these stocks are trading at relatively inexpensive valuations when measured by the forward price to earnings ratio. In this list, the most expensive is Snap at a forward PE of 30. And you have several stocks in the close to single digits here with eBay and Zoom video. And that was true with my first batch as well. The most expensive being a forward price to earnings of 31.76. And you'd be surprised that it's not Nvidia that's the most expensive. It's actually Amazon at a forward PE of 31.76 with Nvidia coming in at a forward PE of 29.19. So I have a couple of more stocks I've added to the portfolio and those are Micron Technology and UiPath. These two have not been on my list all year long. I only recently added these two to the list given their stock price decreases. I've added them to the list and I've tracked them for a couple of months now. One stock that was on my list that I removed last month was Six Flags Entertainment Corporation. The stock had risen 37% year to date and I thought that was enough gains for Six Flags Entertainment and I advise taking profits in this stock and I removed it from my list not only because the stock price was up by this much but I also noticed some competitive pressures in this industry and a consumer that seems to be exhausted or getting exhausted from all the high prices when they leave their home and so I felt that Six Flags had capitalized on that away from home trend completely and I felt it's a good time for investors to take profits and exit their Six Flags positions. Now, I just removed it from my top stocks portfolio. I still have Six Flags Entertainment stock rated as a buy. It's just no longer in my top stocks to buy. So now that I've released those 
top stocks to buy. Let's look at their performance. Now, I'm not going to go through each of their performance returns individually. I just want to share the screen so that when I reveal my portfolio return, you can go back and double check my numbers with the actual performance numbers to make sure that I'm using the correct numbers to report my portfolio performance. So here's the performance of the first group of stocks and you can see all the performance returns with Nvidia at 119%. And here's the performance return for the second batch of stocks and you can see 40% uh, return being the best and that's coming from Meta Platforms which by the way recently reported earnings that were excellent from the social media platform. The returns from Micron Technology, it's up 6.46% since I recommended it on March 1st. Of course, it was up more than 50% and the stock has been on a downtrend. I've reiterated my buy recommendation on Micron Technology stock again here in this video, suggesting that this is a buying opportunity on the dip for Micron Technology. And similarly for UiPath. I recommended I added UiPath on my list of top stocks to buy on May 1st and it's down 39% since that date following a disastrous earnings report, a CEO transition and a decrease in the outlook for profitability for 2024. Still, despite those troubles, I think UiPath is one of my top stocks to buy right now. All right, and then I wanted to share with you the gains for the S&P 500 ETF, which is up 14.5% year to date, and the S&P 500 equal weight ETF, which is up 8.01% on the year. The difference between these two is that the S&P 500 is more heavily weighted towards large cap tech stocks, which have performed really well this year. So if you had a portfolio concentrated in like the top five big tech stocks like Nvidia, Meta Platforms, Alphabet, Microsoft, Apple, that portfolio of five stocks would have performed really well. I think much better than if you have diversified the way I have across a broader selection of stocks. And so you get more credit if you held a more concentrated portfolio in the large cap tech stocks. My portfolio is a broader set of stocks, even though it did include some of those large cap tech stocks like Nvidia, Meta Platforms, and Apple. I had a broader group of stocks for diversification purposes. All right, so looking at my portfolio of stocks here, I have all of the individual returns listed and the average portfolio return, which so far year to date came in at 8.47%. Now that is below the S&P 500 return of 14.52%, but above the equal weighted return of 8.01%. Now the reason why I've underperformed the S&P 500 ETF is because of what I mentioned earlier. The S&P 500 ETF has performed well because of the large cap tech stocks have performed exceptionally well. And those that were concentrated in those large cap tech stocks did better than a broader selection of stocks like I have here over 20 stocks in my list of stocks to buy. Now, if you look at an NVIDIA Meta Platforms Alphabet, which I have in the portfolio, they've done well, but you've had some of the smaller companies like Fiverr International that have not done well and UiPath that have not done well. So those are my underperformers. So, so far year to date in 2024, I've had months where the portfolio significantly exceeded the return of the S&P 500 ETF. And now I have a month where it's significantly below the S&P 500 ETF. And remember in the months where I was reporting performance, I was letting you all know that don't expect me to outperform the S&P 500 by a meaningful amount all year long. That outperformance that I had earlier in the year was due for a reversal. And I had been highlighting that as well. I'm not going to beat the S&P 500 by any meaningful amount for any long period of time, by any extended period of time. It's just unrealistic to expect that kind of performance. And I mentioned that so that people watching my videos don't get overly confident in my stock selections and say to themselves, well, Parkev knows what he's doing. He's an expert. Look how good he's doing. Let me just go and buy every single stock that he has on his list. That's what I didn't want to happen. I want you all to take this list as just a 
list that I have to help you with your own analysis, but to do your own due diligence on each of those companies and then check with mine and say, oh, okay, I like this stock. Oh, and Parkev also likes the stocks and look at it in that way. So I say that and also to mention that these are just for entertainment purposes only. Please, please do your due diligence before selecting any of these stocks. Did you know that over 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed? It'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button. And oh, by the way, one of the benefits of being subscribed is that I take requests from subscribers more often than I do from non-subscribers. So if you prefer that benefit, please subscribe to the channel.